Guys, Ed Walters here, and uh, today I'm reviewing the Ping G LS Tech driver. So, low spin technology driver in the brand new uh, G series range 2016. Uh, let's have a look at the technology that's gone into this head because it's an incredible design. Let's take a look. Right, guys, so looking at the technology that's gone into the LS Tech driver, the low spin technology. Uh, its key features are designed to reduce the amount of spin we get. So we've still got the ultra lightweight crown with the dragonfly wing pattern design. So we've still got that really good resistance to twist from the high moment of inertia, optimized center of gravity, and it's extremely low in this driver. The center of gravity is extremely low. And it's also positioned slightly further forward than that of the G driver. So, this helps high launch angle to low spin ratio so we can maximize our launch conditions, make sure that we get the best spin possible, so the lowest amount of spin so we can get the ball going with great penetration, more distance. That's what the design is for. So the, the, the turbulators are still on the top, the Vortec technology is still there, just like with the two drivers that we've seen previously in this family. So reducing the drag, the turbulence for more club head speed to help us hit it further under the lowest spinning conditions from a ping driver. So with all that technology, let's see how it performs. It's a great looking golf club. I've got the nine degree head here, uh, set standard. So it's just nine degrees of loft. I've got ping standard uh, Tor 65 TFC shaft in it, uh, stiff flex. It's at the standard length, which is 45 and a half inches as well. So we've got ES14 down here for some uh, launch data. So let's give it a go and see what it's like. You know, like the, the G driver, it's got all that fantastic technology, but the slight changes to create the center of gravity position for the lower spin. So let's see if it, uh, if it works for me. A little bit to the right with that one, but not too bad. Again, just a really nice feel off the club face as it goes through. It's a nice feeling shaft as well. It's uh, a little bit different to the previous one. Previous one was like a, a darkish blue finish. I think it was a 419. It's a little bit louder than some of the drivers they produce, but it's really nice feel off the face. The flight is quite nice as well. You know, one thing with personally with my driver is it goes a little bit too high, spins a lot. So to see the difference in the flight here is really, really good. Yeah, really nice. I do like this. And I am in the market for a new driver as well. So it's, uh, it's definitely on my list at the minute. I do like it. Let's hit two more. Yeah, so pull that one a little bit to the left. Fraction lower out of the club face, but not too bad. Not the best of swings, that one. Let's go one more. Really nice. Great feel off the club face. It looks and sits nicely, just like the, the G driver did as well. I like the feel of the shaft as well. Definitely one for me to consider personally as I look for a new driver. So let's have a look at the numbers. Let's see what it's done for me. Okay, so really, really nice. It's worked really, really well for me personally, this setup of shaft and everything. So we've got 102.8 average club head speed, ball speed at 149. So smash factor around about 1.47, so nice and high. Um, if it got it a little bit higher, it would be really, really nice. Launch angle 13.2, spin control 2,707 on average, so helping control the spin. I know my average spin with my driver is over 3,000, so that's really, really good. And then a the distance of 290.4, which is great. So that's much better than what I currently get with my driver. So a really, really good option for me. Um, but again, get out there and try it, see how it works for you. Again, as always, make sure that the length of shaft is right, the type of shaft is right as well, and you get the correct loft so your launch conditions are optimised so you get the best out of it. Uh, again, you know, if you're interested in custom fit, please leave a comment in the, 
the uh, box below and we can arrange that for you. Uh, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends as well. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free to do so. There's loads of great content on there from more course vlogs tips and also more club reviews coming as well very very soon uh, you can also follow me on the usual social networks the descriptions are in the uh, the box below the video and again thanks for watching and see you guys next time